Are we live? Yes. Hi everyone. I'm Rachel Skull Talk Angel Medium. Welcome to your angel messages for the solstice. So in Australia, that's going to be the 22nd of December in the afternoon. It's generally around the 21st of December. So um, we're in the summer and it's the um, the the winter solstice in the northern hemisphere so what i wanted to do for you today is to do a special angel um ritual to get the messages from the archangels about um this solstice because it's a really significant moment astrologically but also in the big picture we're talking about ascension and we're just talking about generally being in, in alignment with the planet and your soul and your higher self, your angels and the source, right? So if you remember, if you were following me last year and you're part of my uh, um, angel community, you would remember that last year I traveled out to Uluru and um, the Northern Territory in Australia because a lot of the solstice and the, um, the planetary shift last year was, was focused around the sacred um, place Uluru, um, which is the traditional land of Anunu people. And that was a really special event, um, really, really powerful. And I did a little reading while I was out there. So I'm going to be doing you a reading today. I'm just checking to see. Hi, Natalie. I'm going to be doing you a reading today where we're going to call in the Archangels of the Four Directions. And then we're going to ask for guidance for this week and, you know, because this week includes the solstice and also to the energy of the next two weeks, right? Because it's, there's some really big things happening, including, right, in some places, some people celebrate Christmas, there's New Year, there's a lot of um, special energy going on right now. And I think we could all do with the angels guidance and what do they say we need to do what do we need to know personally and and globally so i've been looking forward to doing this with you let me just see who's here hi hi kenneth hi rosalie good morning hi helen lovely to see you guys i know cheryl hi cheryl so what i'm using today is um i'm going to be using the archangel Wisdom deck, which um, they're a tarot, angel tarot deck. And I'm also going to be using Carl Gray's Keepers of the Light so that we can get a little bit of input from the Ascended Masters as well. I'm going to do a four card, well, an eight card spread ultimately, but a, um, a four card layout. And we're going to invoke the um, the four, the angels of the four directions. And that links us to the earth energy because that's what's important at this time of year and moving forward right because we're not just talking about ourselves from the spiritual perspective we're invoking all of that earth energy as well and the elements of fire water air and what's the other one earth <laughs> so that we can work with all of the energies that are available to us to move forward for ourselves and as light workers for for others as well hi kyla i'm so glad you're here hi uh. i know there's a few more people here as well okay so i'm just going to show you i bought this this thing a while ago this is just a um it's a grid i use it's like metatron's cube and I often use it to um, make a grid of crystals. So if you've ever attended one of my workshops, the monthly Archangel Attunements, I will do a layout of crystals according to the Archangel that we're working with. And um, that's a way to hold space for all the people that, that are a part of that, that workshop. And then when I do a bigger program, I'll do the same thing um, to hold space for all the people that are with me for six or four weeks. And it's a really good way to, to hold the energy. So what I'm going to use it for today is to place four cards in the four directions. So we're going to go, you have to excuse it, it does look a bit grubby, but it's, um, it's ash from my sage <laughs> stick. So, um, so I'll put one at the top at the north, one at the bottom at the south. I can't see it in that thing. Then I'll do east and west. I haven't got a double camera set up, so I can't show you as I'm doing it. 
So before we start, let's call in the angels and you can be a part of this with me or you can watch it later on the replay if you aren't. I'll say hi to everybody a little bit later. I'm, I see you, I see you. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, so first what we're gonna do is call in the angels and the archangels, ask for their help and ask for guidance for the solstice and moving forward. And then um, I'll, I'll pull out the cards. So I'm going to ask for and invite the presence of Mother, Father, God, Divine Spirit, the universe. Thank you so much, Divine Creator, for watching over this reading, for sending us your angels and archangels, and for bringing about the highest good according to your will. Thank you for bringing together all of the angels, elementals, ascended masters, the ancestors, all of the beings of light and love and ascend, ascended masters who can help us with understanding and receiving a clear message for what you most need us to know. And I ask for and invite the presence of the angels of the four directions. So I call on Archangel Michael, angel of the south and the element of fire. I call on Archangel Gabriel, angel of the west, element of water. I call on Archangel Uriel, angel of the north, element of earth. And I call on Archangel Raphael, angel of the east and the element of air. Thank you, Archangels, for standing in the four corners of our reading today, of our gathering. Thank you for maintaining and holding the energy and giving us your messages, your guidance. Thank you for bringing with you the ancestors, elementals, angels, guardians, and the guides that can help. I'm ready to receive your wisdom. Thank you for working with us and through us. Thank you for protecting this space entirely. And so it is, amen. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna start by asking Archangel Michael the um, element of fire, because the element of fire is about transmutation and letting go. So we're going to start with the south. And we're going to ask Archangel Michael, thank you so much, Archangel Michael. Thank you for protecting us and transmuting all that needs to go to the light. Thank you for showing us what we most need to work on. Okay. I love doing this live with you. So oh, guess, which, guess which card we got for the Angel of the South, quietly? The Emperor, Archangel Michael. Of course it is. So this is <laughs> what you have to focus on right now and for the solstice. And we're talking about what we need to let go of, what we need to release. When we're working with Archangel Michael, we're working on protection and we're working on transmutation. So this is the card about taking things into your own hands, taking control of a situation. If something seems chaotic, messy, if you feel like you're losing control of, um, of something that's important to you, this is the time now to invoke Archangel Michael. So you need to be tying off loose ends, getting organized, getting a bit of a, um, making the time so that you can clear your energy and sit down and, and think, okay, what are the things of this year that I'm now ready to release and let go of? What am I done with? And what feels stagnant and what is not working for me anymore. So there's always a timing with things, right? Sometimes you, you can feel that something just isn't working anymore and it's gone past its sell-by date, right? So you can tell that, all right, I'm hanging on to this because I'm scared to let it go. So here I can hear Archangel Michael talking about drama, other people's dramas, the stories that we make up in our own head, and the, the drama that's out there in the world. And to cut as much of that out of your life as you can. So think to yourself, okay, is there something that really gets your blood pressure up? Things that you're um, getting hooked into because it, it triggers you in some way. Those are the things to cut cords with. When he's talking about organization and getting, um, you know, being logical about things, um, getting things stable, he's really talking about peace. So he's asking that you bring more peace and gentleness into your reality. 
So he's showing me that we have had a very choppy time this year. There's been a lot of intense energies. And he's repeating the message that he spoke to me about um, before the weekend, which I shared with you, which is about um, allowing yourself being gentle, being peaceful, not getting caught up in the fear because you're manifesting things very quickly. There's a heightened peak of energy right now. So you might notice what you're speaking, what you're saying is coming into fruition. So you really don't want to be speaking things that, are, are, that you don't want to manifest. So definitely this is a time for peacefulness. It's like a dampening down, if you like, of that, you know, I'm seeing protests, I'm seeing rah, rah, rah energy, a lot of like fear going up, like, like pouring petrol on a fire. And Archangel Michael speaking to you and saying, it's, it's not your place to be a part of that pouring the petrol on the fire in your own life or in, in the bigger picture. Okay. Thank you, Archangel Michael. So think about this as being a way to honor the solstice. So getting logical, getting organized, being gentle, chopping away drama, taking it easy. He's also talking about um, spiritual, using your spiritual energy um, wisely because your tank is running low. And that doesn't mean you're going to run out of spiritual energy, but it's like your personal life force. You need rest to be able to top, to top back up. So now we're going to call on Archangel Gabriel. Thank you, Archangel Gabriel, Angel of the West, the element of water. What message do you have for, for us? about the solstice. As soon as I start channeling an angel, there's all kinds of things happen. <laughs> I just want to keep talking. All right, so Archangel Gabriel is, is showing me that when we, in, in December 2020, at this point, a lot of people were getting together to pray. And a lot of people were meditating and a lot of people were focused. And a lot of people showed up to say, all right, I'm here for whatever, uh, you know, I'm here to usher in the light. And she's saying that all of your prayers and intentions at that time invited and invoked thousands and thousands of extra angels and archangels to come to the planet to help you to hold that space for you. And your prayers were about things that were personal to you and your prayers were about things that were that were big world things, right? I can remember all of the focus around Uluru at that time and was about, you know, honoring the ancients, honoring the indigenous people um, that, you know, of the world, starting to bring their wisdom and knowledge um, forward. I'm getting a bit goosebumps as I'm saying that. And if you can really, if I mean, I can see it in my mind right now as I'm saying, saying it, I'm seeing a lot more, um, a, a, indigenous voices I don't know if it's just me but that's what I'm seeing a lot more on my socials and in my life and in my in my work in in my world in general so that that energy worked and Archangel Gabriel is saying it's time to at this time to bring back that focus because a lot of people got pulled off their intentions personal and global over the last 12 months is that solstice. So Archangel Michael and Archangel Gabriel together are talking about, all right, now it's time to recommit to those things that you you put out for in, in 2020. So do you remember what you asked for in 2020? And if not, maybe you can just make a new list now, right? <laughs> so here's your card from Archangel Gabriel. Now this is, this is about abundance. It's about balancing the giving and receiving. And it is about being generous and recognizing that the good that you put out in the world, including your prayers and intentions for the good of the planet, really works. So this is coming in on an emotional level. You know, I feel very um, emotional saying this to you. And it's, you know, this is what Gabrielle's bringing, that water energy. Now remember as well, Gabrielle's the messenger angel, the angel that helps us 
to get our message right. You know, what do you want your legacy to be? What do you want, your, what's your message? If you were on a platform for 15 minutes and you, you, could, you could give advice to the world, what would your advice be? Um, so this is about recognizing that you can now follow up on those intentions and start to set new intentions because the good that you put out does come back to you. So it's also about letting yourself receive. Remember what Archangel Michael said about this is a time for gentleness. The energy isn't as, um, it's not as sort of fiery and, and moving forward. They're wanting us to calm it down a bit and to get quiet and to, to bring that energy together but in a, in a more gentle way because they want you to look after your energy. You have been giving a lot right like let me know in the comments have you do you does this resonate with you think about this too as putting your intentions tonight tomorrow and, and Wednesday out to the solstice about be asking for what you want but also balancing that in in the most open-hearted way about remembering to ask not just for yourself but for the for the world yeah so abundance, abundance coming in for you. I love in that card how the um, angel, look at the girl in the, in the wheelchair. So she's generous, um, she's abundant, and she's joyful. And, you know, can you tell, is she giving or is she receiving there? You know, it's a balance of both, and that can that can really help you. But it's also a reminder to remember to rest, and the universe will still give to you. Okay, so now we're asking Archangel Uriel. So the golden angel, Archangel Uriel, the angel of the north. Thank you, Archangel Uriel, for bringing us through a message. And thank you for working, helping us to work with your earth energies. So what Uriel can do for you right now, if you want, is ground you. And one of the things that he does is he places his hands over your earth star chakra or over your feet. And he illuminates this beautiful golden energy disc underneath your feet, which is your earth chakra, earth star chakra. And that instantly makes you feel grounded. But it also activates your energy and creates greater protection around you because you are a physical being and a spiritual being in equal parts, right? So your, your spiritual being needs your physical body. It needs you to be grounded. It needs you to look after your body. Your um, physical being needs your spirit to be connected. You know, if you're floating up there in the ethers, it's like the lights are on but nobody's home. There's nobody driving the car. <laughs> Okay, Uriel, what's your message for the solstice? Ooh, okay, an earth card. <sighs> what is the message that keeps repeating for us? Now, this is a message about grounding. Straight up, this is about grounding. Look at the character. He's um, Uriel is showing us this person's got too many balls in the air, they're balancing on a boat in rough oceans. They're, they, you know, they're going to tip over the side or they're, they're in danger of tipping over the side. So where do you need to bring balance into your life? You know, this is, it's reiterating the grounding message. So when, when doing, you know, if you do a little solstice ritual, even if you just light a candle and say a prayer, even if you just write down your manifestations, do it in a balanced way. You know, don't feel like you have to invite the neighborhood around. Don't feel like you have to do a Zoom meeting. Do it, do it in a way that makes you feel good. And then think about how can I bring more balance into my life? And this isn't just a, a, a hippie, woo-woo, la-la message about getting grounded. This is an urgent message about getting grounded because this energy here, you know, this kind of card comes up only when the angels want to very kindly warn you that you're coming close to the edge 
of something and they don't want you to get sick, they don't want you to, to tip over, they don't want you to, um, you know, have one of the cosmic kicks in the butt. So this is about making sure that you're not overdoing it. Remember the abundance of the universe. You don't have to do everything. You don't have to do everything in one year. You don't have to um, work hard to achieve your dreams. Like You have to work somewhat, but you don't have to overwork. You don't have to drain yourself. You don't have to exhaust yourself. So there is something in your life that needs bringing back into balance where maybe you're overdoing it. So, you know, just for a moment, what's the first thing that comes to mind? This is a direct, you know, link to the Emperor card with Archangel Michael because Archangel Michael was talking about getting stable, getting organized, doing things with a sense of flow and logic rather than um, over the top, not getting distracted, starting to say no to things that you haven't been able to say no to before. You know, you're, you need to recognize that you, you need good boundaries. You need good boundaries. So very important. So you're connected to infinite abundance. So in one way, if you think to yourself, all right, I just have to do the work that I need to do and I don't have to panic about it. I don't have to overdo it. I don't need to stretch myself because that's actually scarcity and that disconnects me from the flow of the abundance from the universe. So thank you Archangel Uriel for that. It's about reducing stress. Again, I'm seeing that energy of other people trying to trying to grab your attention. You know, so remember there's a lot of energy in the world of people who've got their own agendas. And sometimes we forget that and then we get a rude wake up call, you know, you're like, oh, you know, you, you, you go along with something so long and then you realize, oh, actually that person doesn't give a hoot about me and my well-being or that person's actually only, you know, after my money or whatever. You, there's no genuine energy underneath what's, what's on top. So then you have to trust your intuition and, and move away. So sometimes you've got to really check things before you before you commit your energy to them all right thank you archangel uriel so now we're going to ask beautiful archangel raphael the angel of the east and the element of air which is why um raphael really looks after our breath he reminds us to breathe to breathe deeply taking big, you know, big breaths and exhale slowly because that slows down your parasympathetic nerve, your sympathetic nervous system, which is your fight or flight, helps you to come back into your intuition and your front brain where you can start to see logically instead of in the back brain where you're, you know, freaking out, panicking. Or when we're in our, our fear brain, we sometimes, um, we miss things, we miss the signs, we miss the guidance because we get very narrow about things. So, with you know, Raphael is helping bring in, open up your awareness, your clairvoyance, so that you can see options, you can see the solution, you can find the guidance. Wow, beautiful card. So Raphael is, look at this straight away, this beautiful green golden light, which is Raphael's energy and it's also bringing in Archangel Ariel and the lion. And the message is about strength. So that's the element that's coming in from the east and supporting you. And if you can imagine the angels standing around you in a circle, Raphael, is offering strength. So again, this really brings in that stability energy. He's asking you to release um, harsh feelings. So he's talking about forgiving, forgiving yourself and forgiving others because they don't want you to bring the harsh energy into the, um, into the new year. And they're also talking about understanding that when you go a bit deeper in life you really connect with your soul you really connect with that higher energy that's where the nourishment is that's where the true abundance is that's where the the energy the healing energy the, 
the messages that you need. It's all there. And when your sort of your ego is control of you, it kind of keeps you at the surface of things all the time. So here, when you're in resentment, when you're in anger, when you're in panic and fear, you're not connecting as deeply with that source soul energy that you really need. And that's what the four archangels are offering to you right now. And so that's why forgiveness has come up. You've got to slow down. You've got to get some balance. You've got to reduce stress. You've got to balance your giving and receiving. Putting your intentions out, clearing your energy, protecting your energy, and then recognizing the beautiful soul that you are. You know, whenever I see this card, the word magnificent comes up. And the angels have repeated this message to me a lot, is that they say that they do this, they do this um, scene for me where they will put a, a crown and they will put a robe and they say, we angels see you humans as magnificent. You are divine. And, you know, to have the, the honor of being in a spiritual being in a physical body is, is brave and, and courageous. And that's why we have angels that are sent to, to be with us, to help us through this. Because we get, I guess we get a lot of good, good karma, good manner from, from doing that, right? We learn a lot. We get a lot of wisdom. And we can change things in the universe, in the world, by our thoughts and by how we are. So it's not just about little old us, our little old ego, right? <laughs> um, being Taking everything so personally. So when we drop down into recognizing, you know, that space in you, that divine space in you, that you are this magnificent being of light. Isn't it easier then to let go of the petty judgments and the resentments and that, oh, I don't like her or I don't like him because he does this or, um, and the taking things personally and the, and the ways that you beat yourself up, right? Because you don't think you look right or you don't think you've done something perfectly or because you've made a, um, a mistake in the past. So now it's time for you to forgive and that's going to bring that healing energy in from the east and Archangel Raphael so I really yeah okay so you my internet's pretty good Rosalie so all right if you're happy to stick with me we're going to now sort of do do four more very quickly and just ask what other beings are working. So this is where we're working with the solstice energy and we're, we are bringing in more light. You know, we're working with the light, the divine light. And from that perspective, when you activate that part of yourself and you work with the angels, not only to bring more light and healing, abundance and joy into your own life, but they're asking you to do that also, at, include in your prayers the world, right? Because we're all one, really. We, we can't, we, you know, we don't advance if we only think of ourselves. We, and part of being here as a light worker is to work with the light for the greater good of all. So that makes a, that makes a huge difference. But also when you come from that place of being of service, like I'm here to help you, not just myself, then that activates more universal light energy in you. And that, that's very magnetic, but you can't trick it, right? You can't go, well, I'm gonna to pretend to be of service so that the universe makes me manifest money more <laughs> quickly. It doesn't work like that. It's like your genuine heart, right? It's where, you, where you're coming from. And sometimes, look, sometimes you can't be of service. And this is really, you know, a lot of this is telling you, be gentle with yourself. Don't try to save the world all by yourself. You, you, you're not here alone. Now is the time for rest. We've got a much softer solstice this year, even though the energy is quite intense. But that energy is intense because, um, 
if that energy is intense because it's telling you something, right? So, you know, some of yesterday I was trying to um, get some work done and, and it's a Sunday in Australia, right? So really I should be resting and that's normally my big boundary. I don't work on a Sunday, but I wanted to yesterday. But then I got really tired and I got really kind of, oh my God, this energy is wiping me out. But it was because that's, it's working with me to tell me to magnify the feelings in my body of like, have a rest, have a rest. All right, so divine spirit, angels of the four directions, show us what guardians are working with us at this time. And then if there's any extra messages that we need to know. All right, so the angel of the south, Archangel Michael is working with Kutumi. Isn't that just perfect? Because Archangel Michael is all about protection, clearing your energy of the lower toxic energies. And that includes your body, all right? So do you need to detox your body a little bit? If there's some things you've been eating or drinking that just, you know, don't agree with you and aren't are showing up in, in ways that you're like, well, my body's not happy. So Kutumi is about trusting your wisdom, trusting the guides and the angels who are with you and reminding yourself to protect your energy, protection. Who is working with Archangel Gabriel in the West? Interesting. Oh, this You could not make this up. Honestly, I love this so much. I love it so much. And I love reading cards. So Archangel Gabriel is working. Right, This is all about giving and receiving, looking after yourself, being receptive to let the universe give to you. Here we have, and also being kind to others. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I feel like I'm preaching to the choir though, right? Because you guys are kind. This is Kuan Yin, the goddess of love, kindness, and compassion. Remember Kuan Yin held, held herself back from enlightenment um, so that she could stay behind and, and, and wait until everybody was enlightened? That's... How how loving and compassionate is that? How egoless is that? You know, letting go of the ego to just enjoy life, but also, you know, compassion to self and compassion for others, for, for where they're at, for where they're at. So doing doing what is right, doing and keeping in mind the greater good, not just what is it right for you. You know, we do kind of, go off track don't we when we forget the greater good so beautiful Kuan Yin there working with the west energies so Archangel Uriel who is working with you in the north and the earth energies and by the way the west is the water <laughs> so compassion seems to fit well for that and those water lilies okay Uriel the golden angel told us about balance and we've got Master Buddha, increased awareness, deep connection and trusting your inner peace. So what do we know about Master Buddha? And just even from that image, what that is giving to you is stillness, isn't it? You know, the stillness to receive what you need and opening your awareness so that you can see the world, anything, anything happening in your own life, anything happening in the bigger picture see it through the eyes of love but see it with awareness from the objective position of the you know the witness instead of feeling your you know it's like a vortex that sucks your ego and in it goes and it wants to have a fight with someone or it wants to get upset about something or take it personally so peace peace and awareness it's all coming to you it's all coming to you you just need to sit still for a bit with awareness. And thank you, um, Master Buddha and Archangel Uriel. And now Archangel Raphael, who's working with you with the element of air and east. This just took my breath away. It took my breath away. Now, first up, we've got the Metatron's cube energy sitting at, which is what I'm working with, this grid um, in front of me. 
and we've got the flower of life. So, and it's Mikilzadek. So this is the ultimate energy of the solstice, is that everything that you're going through, you are learning, you are, you are gaining wisdom, you are gaining knowledge and and greater mastery over your energy, over your life, and so that you can apply that, right? And I mean, some of the most basic things that we've learned as spiritual seekers is, you know, your thoughts interact with the universal energies to create. Um, and so what, where you are right now in, you know, on the, on the grid and the wheel, is, is what you have created right now. And so there'll be things you love in there, there'll be things you like, there'll be things you're not quite so happy about, there'll be things you just definitely don't want anymore. And the choice is yours, you have free will, right? You get to change, you get to choose anything, you get to, to make a different choice. And that light that is within you, your soul, is, is constantly connected to the source, the divine wisdom. And your angels that's you know it's like your little gps or your tracker <laughs> and your gps is constantly leading you to the to home right it's leading you to your highest good it's on your soul path and sometimes your ego or other people's egos will interfere and try and pull you off but that's okay because your little gps your soul your soul's wisdom will reshuffle the directions and and guide you back it's constantly your angels are with you those your guides are with you they're they're never going to say oh i'm leaving her alone she's just gone off track and she's not listening the 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 guidance might change because you've changed but it will bring you back to that path because eventually the all paths lead to your highest good it just depends whether you want to take the path of drama or the path of peace so we're all a bit of a mixture of all of those. So Mikilzadek here is um, is asking you to apply the wisdom, to remember your magnificence, your strength, your, the spiritual lessons you've learned so far, the wisdom you have in your soul, those difficult things you've been through that were hard-earned wisdom so that you can then apply that and move forward. So consider these as you are moving you know putting your intentions out over the next few weeks two weeks um and also you know if you're going to be doing some manifesting and consider that in your prayers and your plan and strategy moving forward for your for your life your new intentions for 2022 so i'm really i'm excited about that i think i think that's beautiful hi hester thank you for your comments Peace, awareness, and loving kindness. That's it. Hi, Michaela. Hi. Hi, Tracy. Which card was that? Kind of sorry, I missed you. Yeah. So that's this is your your solstice reading. And really, you know, usually what I do at this time every week is that I do a reading for the week ahead. So it's the 20th now, all the way through to the 27th next week. But instead of that, we got we we received these messages instead. The energy is super intense, of course it is at the moment, and there's a lot going on in the world. But the angels are asking us not to panic, to look at all right, what's the lesson and what's the blessing and what's going on right now? How can I contribute to more peace, more kindness, more um, wisdom? Maybe it's just your prayers for the world. How can I? manifest what I want despite and not be um, pulled off track by um, what is going on and also how can I really look after and replenish my life force energy and my divine energy you know it, this is a call for you to restart your spiritual practice to do your meditations to perhaps pull a card for yourself you know you can do this you could pull four cards in the four directions asking for guidance you could even place a crystal on each one and then put your prayers underneath the layout so that you can um, that you can release those over the coming week 
So this is a chance for you to really look after yourself and look after your energy and reset for the next for the next year so that next year 2022 when we're talking about solstice and we're at the end of the year you can look back and say okay what have i manifested what have i created what showed up that i put out there in my intentions and prayers and remember that the angels are always listening they are um constantly they're constantly with you and I've been saying this all year, there's thousands more angels are coming in all the time. That's what I'm perceiving, that's what I'm being told. And this, they've, they've acknowledged it today and they have linked it into the solstice of last year. And I feel that they're telling us that to not be um, disillusioned or put off by the fact that we're not where we hoped we would be at this stage, you know? There are still things going on in the world um, that that we would rather not be going on. But we have to remember our own power, right? That we have the ability to act in certain ways that um, contribute to a change. We have the ability to, to put our thoughts on what we want rather than what we don't want. You know, you are a powerful person. You have power within you, even if you see only limitation within and around you. That's not true. The angels don't see that. They see your power. So this is your chance now to think, okay, if I was to change the world, what would what would I be for the highest good? What would I be asking the angels to help with? And what vision would I hold of the ultimate outcome? And if you can't think of that, just see healing. Wrap the world in love and light. And... Um, make the affirmation everything all is well all is divinely well everything's working out for the highest good it's everything's going to be okay all is healed all right my lovelies thank you so much thank you mish thank you carol so um i am going to take a um a break and i'm probably not going to do a video next week the 27th which is why i wanted to make this one um you know be for the for the next fortnight or so i need a rest i need to pay attention to my angels and my body and um i've also got a a, a beautiful free masterclass coming up at the beginning of january which i will let you know about very soon you'll be able to sign up for that and it's going to be an angel workshop where i'm going to teach you how you can get more signs and and have a deeper connection with your angels get more clear messages from your angels. So I'll be doing that at the beginning of January, but I will let you know soon as I can about how you can sign up for that. It will be very easy. So keep your eye out. If you're not already on my mailing list, there are still going to be blogs and um, emails going out over the next two, three weeks, if, even if I'm on holiday, and you will get details of the, of that class. I've also got the beautiful Archangel Ariel January um, Attunement, which is a 90 minute workshop where you get to um, set a clear vision for yourself and attract abundance in 2022. So that's on the 28th of January. You can buy tickets now for that event. And if you want to come to all of the attunements in 2022, which is 13 of them, you can save money by buying them all up front for $444. You'll save $300 by doing that. And um, you will automatically be added to every class. You'll get the emails giving you the links and you'll get the replays on a new membership platform that my team have been very hard at work creating for 2022. Um, so you can also do that. So that's what I've got coming up in the new year as well as the Angel Communication Program. Six weeks of working with me to um, learn to expertly read the cards and and heal with the angels as well so that's all coming up and you will hear about it if you're on my mailing list thank you yes the golden wheelchair card Kyla. yes that was a pivotal moment in your life wasn't it let yourself receive and so you did look at how much has changed since then beautiful all right so um whether you celebrate christmas or not i'm wishing you um a happy festive season and a peaceful um a peaceful season as well and new year keep safe look after yourself energetically physically emotionally 
and um, yeah, I'm sending you lots of love. Thank you for your support in 2021. See you in the new year. Bye.